What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh, it is pretty dark here. I forgot to turn on the lights. Give me a second. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This week, uh, we're doing something on the CRV. We're not actually doing a, a physical mod. What we are doing is trying a product out. As my fellow CRV owners know, the ones without body painted bumpers and trim, we all know how much it sucks that it starts to fade. It starts to fade because of the UV and everything. So the guys at Grush 16 hooked me up with uh, Chemical Guys VRP. It's for vinyl, rubber, and plastic protectant. It's supposed to bring back the shine and it's supposed to repel and it's not it's supposed to be greasy. I've never used it, so you guys are going to be with me as I try to do it for the first time. Hopefully it helps and can bring back the shine on a lot of faded plastic on the CRV. As you guys can see, like that's pretty faded right along here. So I went and tested it out right here and look, look at the shine it brought back. And I did this door molding. This is obviously scratched so you can't repair that but look at the difference of this door molding to that one. So I'm gonna go set you guys down right over here and we're gonna do this whole side and then I'm gonna do like a comparison of half the front bumper so that way we can get a good look I uh, probably won't do the lip I'll leave the lip as it is because it's not bad but yeah that's what we're gonna do guys and then we're gonna see overall how really good this product really is uh, if it lasts long like it says it does but yeah it, it made a big difference on the other one brought back the shine right away so let's get to it boys Look at that. Look at the finish. It's like it's revitalized. Like I just picked it up from the dealership. Like here's the front. And I stopped right over here. And hold on. Like look at the difference. I haven't touched that yet. And this is where I've touched. And it's like they said, no grease. That is fucking wicked. This is a pretty dope product. Like, look at the whole thing. It's like it brought it back to life, the plastics. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna tackle the rest of the front, to the driver's side and the back bumper. Now I'll give you guys a full walk around. Right, maybe I'll do the front lip too. So this is the front lip guys without it. It's so sunny out. So I'll show you everything once it's all done. So let's get back to it. Alright boys, I did the front lip, I did this whole side, I even did the back bumper. It revitalized all of the plastic. Now, it says vinyl, so I'm going to give it a shot on the spare tire cover and see how that goes, because I've seen some better days. But guys, 
look how amazing the trim has come out. I know I gotta fix this door. The only thing I'm not gonna be doing is the door handles. The, they're not too bad. But guys, if you have a V with the black plastics and bumpers, this is definitely a must. Big shout out to Garage 16 for this product. Uh, he's got the whole Chemical Guys lineup. This is the product right here. He's got the whole lineup on his website, garage16.ca. And I think he's also got an American website for you guys in the States. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try the bumper and uh, show you guys the results. Guys, like this is so dried up, so bad. But look, I caked it on and look, it, it just shined it up, revitalized it. It's like a brand new car. Holy, I am so impressed with this product. It's amazing. Look at it. I was gonna say I was done, but then I realized I had to do the grill. I did the grill and then I noticed my GDM badge took a nice rock chip right here. <sighs> rock chips ruin everything. But yeah, guys, this product is amazing. It did a great job. Car looks like brand new. Just wipe down the rims, make it look all flashy for you guys. Give it a little cinematic. But yeah, I, I am enjoying the look of this right now and you can see like it's got that brand new feel like I got it out of the showroom from 2005 look at this thing so yeah guys that's gonna be it garage16.ca or wherever you guys get chemical guys but this product is a must if you're a CRV owner with the trim with the trim uh, bumpers instead of the painted so one final look for you guys. Fire. Nathan, what do you think, buddy? Looks good. Yeah? Does it look like brand new, buddy? Yes. Caleb? It looks brand new. Looks brand new? You're just excited to go to the park, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to close this off from me and the kids. Bye. We're going to go to the park, have some fun. And uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to do this video because I've had it in the garage. I didn't know if I wanted to try it. And then I tried it just now, like a little piece. I was like, oh, you know what? I want to share this with the CRV community because this is a must. Because I know if you're like me, you get so cheesed when you see that faded black bumper or the moldings. Uh, obviously, this isn't a permanent fix. I'm hoping it lasts like a week, two weeks, and then, you know, do it again. It really doesn't take much time to do it. it it's it's gel, it's like the Chemical Guys Hydro Wax, but this thing's amazing, guys. That's another thing we gotta do to the CRV. I gotta do... What are you doing there? <laughs> we gotta do a, a clay bar and wash this thing like full detail and then ceramic wax it so that way get more shine out of it. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm loving how the CRV is coming out. We got so much more still to do. Got the spoiler to put on. Um, got LCAs to put on. Lower it some more uh, so I get better fitment. Uh, I gotta look for black housing headlights, but I want the ones without the amber in it. I want it like where it's black and clear. That's the headlights I want. Uh, I think I found a set for like 350 bucks. I don't know if I want to spend that on headlights at the moment. And then uh, I got to do the rest of the exhaust still on it. Um, so much more still to do on it. So like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next vlog. And peace.